Hey, this is Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. I wanted to show you guys that have been asking questions about where fuses and breakers and things like that go. And I want to give you a quick tutorial here. And uh, I'm going to grab the camera for a minute and bring this in here and show you guys a few products. So um, we've got over here some solar panels and that's ran in and comes through. A lot of you guys have been asking about these breakers and wanting to put breakers in in different ways uh, this is a midnight solar PV3 combiner box um, you show the open voltage coming in here the current and the amps is what's going on so this is just two strings the positive comes up here across this bus bar and comes through comes through uh, over here we have the negative Back here is the ground bar, comes into the classic. And in this particular setup, we have a outbound breaker that goes down. And here is a 24 volt battery bank. So there's your DC charge side system. And in this system, uh, we've got a Magnum 4024 PAE. Let me step back from that. And it is hooked up with the ARC 50. Those are put on some uh, backer boards that we have made here in Roanoke, Virginia. Those are available on hurricanewindpower.com as well if you need the mounting boards. But uh, just a quick tutorial up here. You know, this system is running and we're inverting 24 volts at 35 amps so that's your magnum uh, AGS this is set up with the auto gen start so if we aren't making as much power as we need to then for an off-grid system you would back that up with something like this so that uh, brings the power back into the magnum and that does your AC charging. Now, something else a lot of people overlook is the uh, fuse block over there. Very important to put that. And notice we've used the big 4 watt cable on this. This inverter is rated, if I'm not mistaken, check the specs on the AC side. That's a 400 amp fuse block in there. But again, you know, uh, I get a lot of questions about the combiners and the breakers and the wiring. So over here we have the PV coming in. We've got two strings in these combiners. I'll show you that wiring one more time. And on the way out, you see if we flip this breaker here, we have no power being made. We flip this breaker back on power will come on up a little bit of overcast but it comes on up these are also uh, useful when you're trying to use your series strings you know you can isolate one string or the other if you need to do some troubleshooting so uh, just a quick tutorial again till next time Tony with Hurricane Wind Power we'll catch you later bye bye